I'm doing two different looks in this video, but they both start out the same with some white face paint all over your face. Keep it kind of thin and messy. shouldn't be perfect, and if you make it too thick and solid, it's going to make your face look really flat, and you don't want that. Set it all with a translucent powder. I'm contouring my face with a very light bronzer, this way so my face doesn't look so flat from the white face paint. Now just filling in my brows with a dark brown pencil. Now I'm taking a dark gray eyeshadow and going all over my lid, kind of messy and smoky. Then taking a smaller brush and putting that dark gray on my lower lash line and blending it up into the top. Then with a small crease brush, I'm taking a black eyeshadow and filling in my crease and sort of the inner corner and outer corner of my eye, kind of in a C shape. This will keep my eyes looking round instead of sinking into my face. Now with a thin angled brush and some black eyeshadow, I'm going to define right up against my upper lash line. And then line your waterline with some black eyeliner and then with a small brush smudge that out so that the color gets right in between your lashes so there's no flesh tone peeking through. And then mascara on your top and bottom lashes. I'm using the Revlon lipstick in number 10 Why Not. Then I'm taking a black eyeliner and dabbing all over the red to make the lips look a little bit darker. So this is the first look done. I made the neck piece out of duct tape because I don't have any black chokers, but it worked. Now for the second look, I curled the ends of my pigtails and I'm just wiping off the black eyeshadow. If you're starting from scratch, you don't have to do this, but I would recommend filling in your waterline with some black eyeliner just so that it doesn't look like your eyes are naked peeking out behind the mask when you create it. I'm throwing on some bright pink blush because it looks like she has a little bit of blush peeking out from under her mask. I'm using some purple face paint. To start out the mask I'd recommend making a little V on the top of your nose and then just rounding out the little corner. Then do the same thing on the bottom, making an upside down V across your nose. Then to outline the mask, I'd recommend doing little section by section, one side at a time. So what you do on one side, do it on the other side, and this will help just keep it even and you won't have one side bigger than the other. Then just continue and fill in the entire mask. I'd recommend putting some purple eyeshadow over your eyes to prevent the mask from creasing. But I went ahead and covered the entire thing with this dark purple eyeshadow so it would just darken up the color a little bit because I didn't like how bright it was. Then I'm taking a black eyeshadow and outlining just barely to the edge of the mask. This will just make it stand out a little bit more. Then on the top of the mask, right above the black, take a shimmery white 
this will just make it look like it's rounded and it's coming off of your face, not just a painted mask. Also do this on the part that's right above your nose, this will make it look like it's perfectly rounded over your nose. And then here I attempted to do some shading on the bottom of the mask, but I didn't like the way it looked. I didn't really get it the way I wanted it, but you can do it if you want, maybe you can do it better. And then here I'm just sharpening up the lipstick and making it look a little bit darker. And then I made a little origami nurse's hat just for fun because in this look she's actually kind of dressed as a nurse. So that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe so you can see all of my other Halloween tutorials. Next week is Maleficent. I actually did the entire costume, DIY, super cheap, looks super amazing, and see you guys later. Bye bye <laughs>